Here's how to build yourself an automated monthly newsletter in high level. First thing you're gonna do is go to marketing, go to emails, go to templates, and you're gonna create yourself a template. So let's hop over to here. So I made a monthly newsletter template. If we hop in here, make it whatever you want. I just did this as a template here. And one thing you can do in here is you can put the custom value of right now month and right now year. That way, whenever the email gets sent out, you know it's the correct month and year. All right, so once you do that, then you're gonna back out. And then you can just take this and you can duplicate it out, make your January, duplicate it out, make your February, and then you can make all of your months. Once you have all the months done, now let's head over to the automation and see how that is built out. So I made this monthly newsletter. So it starts with a trigger of form submitted. So if you wanna put the form on your website, your funnel, then when they fill the form out, they'll get added to this workflow. All right, so the first thing that's gonna happen is it's going to send them a welcome email or an acknowledgement email. Basically, you just wanna let them know that they're on the list and you're welcoming them. After they get the welcome email, then they'll go down to the next step, which is a wait step. So the way this is gonna be set up is you're gonna turn on the advanced window. And now what I'm doing is I'm putting in a Monday through Friday. So it's only gonna send Monday through Friday because I don't really wanna send it on Saturday and Sunday. And then in the window, I chose something 8.45 to, to five. You can do whatever window you want here. But the key part of that, about this is you're gonna do current day of the month is one. And then that way, this will wait after they get the welcome email, it'll wait till the first of whatever the next month is. After that, they'll go to the next step. Now, I have an if else in here. The if else is, I broke up into quarters because high level limits the number of branches you can have in an if else to 10. So that's there's 12 months in a year. Let's break up into quarters. So quarter one is the current month, January, or is the current month, February, or is the current month, March. So just to show you how to do this, the condition, select time and date, and then you would select current month is, and then you would select your month. So you would do that. You have quarter one, then you do quarter two, then you do quarter three and quarter four. So once that's done, now you have your four branches. Come down to quarter one. Now in this case, you're going to do another if else, but this time it's gonna be branch one is gonna be current month is January. Branch two, current month is February. Branch three, current month is March. Okay, so then you're gonna have that for each one. Which month? April, May, June, so on and so forth. Now they're gonna come down the first branch January. So what I've done is I've added in a drip mode here. And the drip mode, I've set it for, it's gonna depend on the size of your list or maybe you want, might wanna remove it, just depends on how big your list is. But I'm sending, I'm doing a drip mode of say 200 every 30 minutes. So I'll send 200 every 30 minutes. So then they'll go down to the next step, which is sending that January newsletter email. After the email is sent to them, they'll move on to the next step. Now the way this works, this wait step is going to, I'm doing pretty much the same window, so exact or a window, but Monday through Friday, because I only want to send, as I said, Monday through Friday, and it's not gonna wait until the first of every month, because that could fall on a Saturday, could fall on a Sunday, but it's gonna wait until, again, the additional filter needs to be February, so the next month. I'll wait till the next month in this window, and then it'll move on to the next step. The next step is a go-to, so the go-to it's gonna bring them all the way up to which quarter. So now they're starting at the top again. This time it's gonna look, which quarter is it? Now it's February. So now it's gonna come down to quarter one. And then this branch, again, it's gonna look at which month is it? This time it's February. So it'll go down February. Again, I have the drip mode in, 200 every 30 minutes. Again, adjust that how you want. And then it's gonna send the February newsletter email. And then after that, it's gonna go down to the wait step. Now this wait step again, is I did the same window, but this time it's waiting till March, the next month. So you're gonna do that for each branch. Now it's going to, and then go to, to the top, and I'll come back and wait till, send the March email, wait till April, come back, then in April, send April, May, you get on, so, far, so on and so forth. Then when it gets to the last one, December, it will then wait until January, and then I'll come back to the top, and it'll just keep cycling through once a month. So now all you have to do is just have to go in once a month or write them all in the beginning in January, depending on how your newsletter is set up. If it's evergreen, you can just write them up, 
set this up and then it'll go. It'll go every month. But most likely what you want to do is you want to edit each email before they're sent out. So I suggest creating yourself a task in your task manager, say a week or a month before that next month, go in and edit that next month's email. So then it's ready to be sent out. You just have to go into the templates, edit, and then it's ready to, to get sent out. Pretty simple. Hope that helped. And I'll see you on the next video.